All right, in this video, I'm going to make really basic carabiner. Um, incredibly basic, but I think it will get the point across. Um, so I'm going to start with a circle, hit the C for circle in the sketch palette, and then I'm going to type in one and a half inches, return, and then I'm going to put another circle up here. Um, and then I'll dimension it to where I want it to go. That one is going to be a uh, half inch diameter circle. Uh, hit D for dimension. Then go down here. The distance between these two should, for me, is 0.7. I think in the end this is going to be a, um, you know, somewhat realistic um, carabiner you can choose to do all kinds of different shapes. They come in many different shapes. Um, I'm really trying to just show that this is a pretty straightforward way of getting something done that looks a lot like a carabiner. Um, then I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to put a line in between here and here. And I'm not too worried in this video that that didn't um, darken in. Uh, probably could do a dimension here. Yeah, and then it will. Um, I'll say 0.7 to keep things consistent. All right, that's that's looking good. All right, <laughs> you might be thinking, what, how is this ever going to be a carabiner? Well, let's try it. Let's do one more thing here. We're going to go to a construction line. And then I'm going to have L for line. And I'm going to put a vertical line over here. And then I'm going to dimension it. Um, I hit escape and dimension. And then from there. And I want that to be. Uh, three quarters of an inch. So click that and then type in 0.75 return. All right, so that's tangent to this circle. That'll work out pretty well. Now, instead of doing all this over here again, I'm going to go here and, oh, sorry, to create and to mirror. And I'm going to pick these objects. I just need to click on them, the three objects I drew. Then I'm going to click here where it says mirror line. What is it? I'm going to hit select, click on that, and then I can see that I've got that coming over. And it's looking good. Now I need to do a little bit more filling in. Um, and from here to here, whoops, I still have the construction line on. I, I rarely turn that off. Uh, you know, when I'm supposed to, I'm just hitting it, Command Z and go hit L for line and go here. And if I want that to darken in, I think I can hit dimension and then uh, hit 1.5. Um, And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit L and go from here to here. And I'm going to hit dimension, bring that up. Now that looks like it would like to be 2.5 and return. All right, so now we have this whole area bounded by dark lines. I found in Fusion, if you have uh, blue lines, this often will still work. It's not all, um, it doesn't have all the information that it wants, but it still uh, can do the trick for you. Uh, if you want to be f more foolproof, you try to get black lines, right? So anyway, um, I'm going to use this trim tool up here, um, right there. And then I'm just going to go in and get rid of anything that is not um, part 
of the exterior. All right. This this here, don't worry about that. That is part of the dimensioning. Um, there's lots of warnings coming up here. I've done this before. It didn't seem to matter. So um, I'm going to go with that. So now I'm going to go to uh, modify again. I'm going to hit offset. And I'm going to make this grow out. So I'm going to take that curve. I'm going to say that I want it to go out. And I'm going to put in there, um, let's just make it so it will change quite a bit. When you see me do it, I'm going to click in here. And I'm going to say point two five return. Oh, I have a two decimals there. Say OK. All right. Now I have something that looks kind of like a carabiner here. Usually there would be a hinge uh, here and a brake, kind of a locking mechanism here. I'm not going to go that far. I'm simply going to uh, say this is good enough. Um, I'm going to finish the sketch. And then I'm going to go to my home position. And I'm going to get this so it uh, just does the outline. And right click, press pull, come up. And distance is also 0.25. All right, now, usually they, ha they are round or they have uh, filleted edges. So I'm going to go to fill it here on that quick panel, click that, and well, doesn't really want to let me select the bottom. So I want to do this all at once. There we go. I selected the bottom. And I'm going to put in here 1 16th of an inch. It gives me an error. And I'm going to say, OK, you know. Uh, and here we have a very basic carabiner that you can't open. <laughs> um, a D-ring, I think it would be called. Um, but, you know, you could go on to break these and put hinges and everything here. But that's how you, uh, a pretty straightforward way of, of getting uh, the shape that you want. And as I said before, you can certainly play around in the sketch to get um, different types of shapes. And there's all kinds of different ways. But that, that circle method gets your radiuses um, pretty good. Uh, I think this is uh, fairly straightforward and uh, not hard to do. There is a different way to do this as a sweep. Um, but that's a tricky tool and doesn't always work for me and uh, as an amateur CAD <laughs> designer. So I think this, this way works pretty well. And uh, thank you for watching.